Welcome back everyone to another Media Minute. We're going to be talking about pencil and papers. Now here I have lots of drawing pencils, lots of illustration pencils. We have mechanical pencils, drafting pencils. We have 3H pencils. You know, we have F pencils, 2B pencils, 2H pencils. We have tons of pencils, but we don't really need all these fancy art pencils. All we really need is a number two pencil. Let's get rid of these and let's introduce to you the one pencil that everyone has or has held once in their life. I'm talking about the number two pencil. Now this number two pencil has a tip, a point with graphite on it, and we have the eraser part on the other end. We're going to be using both of them. And we're also going to be using a sharpener and a bigger eraser just for fun. Let's talk about the tip by giving you tip number one. When we start drawing, we often make the mistake of applying too much pressure to a paper. This means that when we try to erase it, we're often left with the marks still on the paper. So the first tip is to draw light until you get it right. You can always add to the light drawing by applying pressure or drawing over it again, but it gets really hard to erase the dark marks. So, draw light until you get it right. Alright, tip number two. We tend to rely too much on the eraser. When we draw and we make a mistake, don't erase it. The first thing I want you to do, instead of erasing, is to fix it. If we erase our mistakes, we tend to repeat the mistakes. So, draw light until you get it right. Darken the areas you want to keep and erase the extra lines that you don't need. Here's an example of a quick little drawing that I build up using simple shapes. I draw the shapes nice and light, and then I go over the parts that I want to keep by applying more pressure to the pencil and the paper, and then once I have everything that I want to keep, I erase the lines that I don't want. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to build up your drawing. By drawing light, drawing over the shapes that you want to keep, and erasing the ones that you don't need. Make the lines you want to keep darker, and erase the lines that you don't want. Now what else can we do with the pencil? The pencil has two ends, the graphite, which is the writing part, and on this part we have the tip of it, and then we have the side of it. The side of the pencil we can use to create marks. If I use just the tip of the pencil, I can create nice thin lines. Remember to draw with your arm and not your wrist. Now if I apply the side of the pencil to the paper, I get a different look and a different feel if I use the tip of it. So let's talk about some mark making. I'm going to go ahead and draw the same little vase three times. And I'm going to apply different marks on them with my pencil to give me three different looks. I start by building up the shapes that I draw. In this case, it's two circles and a triangle. And then I apply the texture to it. On this first one, I am using the side of my pencil to add a little bit of value. We're not going to get into value just yet, but I want to give you an example of what we can do. When I use the side of the pencil, I get a really smooth transition between my darks and lights. We'll cover this in a later video with value. I can also use the tip of my pencil to apply the value, but this time I'm going to be using just lines. This is a process called hatching, and if I add a second layer of lines, it's called cross-hatching. On this third one, I'm using a process called scumbling or scribble hatch to add the texture to it.
Let's try this again with triangles. And just with a flick of the wrist and a slight movement of my arm, I can get different textures on the triangles. A few things that will affect the way the marks come out is how much pressure you apply to them and how you move your wrist and your arm while holding the pencil. So I want you to experiment, have some fun, and see how many different types of marks you can get. And here's another quick example of how you can use your pencil. You can either use it to draw a nice vase of flowers. Remember to build up your objects using simple shapes. And here we have an example of how to draw with your eraser. First, I cover the paper with the side of the pencil, applying graphite to the paper so it comes out kind of gray. And then I use the eraser to erase what I don't want. I'm kind of working backwards, but since I was not happy with what I got, I'm going to go ahead and add some more graphite around the edges. No one ever said you have to draw one way or the other. You can combine both techniques. Remember, when you create your art, when you get creative, just have fun with it. Use both the eraser and the pencil and see what you can come up with. Both techniques resulted in a vase with flowers. Of course, they look different. It just depends on what kind of look you want to go for, but you can also use this to draw cats, dogs, buses, cars, apples, whatever you want. Have fun with it. See what you guys can come up with with your pencil, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.